Hello beauties, it's Brittany. I'm going to share with you today what is in my carry-on travel bag. As you may or may not know, I've been doing a little bit of traveling. Um, we just recently went on a cruise. Uh, by the time you're watching this, I will maybe be in Vegas. And I have many other trips planned this year, so I am trying to uh, create a routine for myself and carry things that I know I'm going to need. I also really love traveling and have done quite a lot of it in the past. So the things in my handbag are necessary. I don't like to carry around a lot of extra stuff because it can get quite heavy and kind of trying to go through security with extra things can, you know, get a little overwhelming. So this is what is in my purse. I also do carry on with me a roll-on suitcase. And in there I tend to keep an extra pair of clothes for Alex and I, um, my jewelry so that it's not in my checked bag. I also carry on with me my makeup because I don't want it to get thrown around and broken or anything like that. So I keep it in, you know, a zipped bag that comes on the plane with us and we just put that in the overhead bin and that way when we get to our destination, you know, we have our toothbrush, any medication that we need, um, any change of clothes that we might, might want as well as a swimsuit because sometimes that's like the first thing that you want to do is just um, go to the pool or go to the beach or something like that and you don't want to have to ruffle through your entire checked bag. So the bag that I carry on with me is my navy blue longchamp and I've had this for oh my gosh has it been five years now? A really long time. I love this bag. If, if this one ever does get a serious hole in it, it does have you know some tethering at the bottom here but if it ever does really kind of rip apart I will definitely purchase another one this was a gift from my aunt and I treasure it so dearly I use it all of the time when I was in school I used it as my school bag and now I travel with it because it can fold up into a very small compact bag if you want to stick it in your um, luggage or anything like that so first thing that I have in here is my vlog camera because I do vlog most of the trips that we go on I will have a vlog of the cruise up so check the information bar if you want to follow Follow our vlog channel. The camera that I use is the Canon PowerShot ELPH110HS and I will have it listed below because that's a very complicated name. Next I have a blanket scarf. So this one is from Target. I actually am sadly allergic to this so I can't use it around my neck but I can use it as kind of a blanket because if I have you know my clothes on it's not touching my skin so it's fine and my hands aren't gonna break out in hives don't worry. For some reason it only irritates my neck area. I break out in like little you know, hives or whatever, but blanket scarf from Target, uh, carry that with me in my bag. I do carry a neck pillow and an eye mask, but y'all know what that looks like. I have to have my headphones. These are my Beats headphones. I do not like, um, you know, ones that you stick in your ear. I use them at work and I have them. And if I have to use those, I will, but I definitely prefer um, headphones that go over my ears. I feel like they cancel out the sound better. Uh, the quality is definitely better. I got these when I got my computer and they are so awesome. I love these. They're Bluetooth, but I do also carry um, the cord with me just in case they die. But these are super comfortable and they really kind of put me in my own zone when I'm listening to an audiobook or a podcast or anything like that. In this little pouch here, I carry my phone charger because you never know when your phone might die. I also have a chapstick, a lip uh, color. This is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Color in the shade number 11. I carried this with me on the cruise. It's moisturizing. It has a little bit of color to it. It really is a gorgeous shade for very pale people like myself. And then in here I also have a little bag of M&Ms because I was traveling and M&Ms are like my favorite travel snack. But I did also have um, trail mix in here which I will go to Target or Walgreens or wherever I end up going and purchase some trail mix to keep in here. Um, things that have nuts and um, almonds and you know things that are going to keep me full for a long time especially if I'm hungry on a plane. I also have this little bag of uh, mints, cough drops, actually an extra pair of earrings I guess, a jump drive, uh, some gum, all that little goody stuff in here if you got bad breath or if you have some um, cough coming. I like to travel with little bags inside my bags because it makes it easier to find things. Of course I have my sunglasses. These are from Rue 21. They are awesome. They're white and they're mirrored and they're super cool. I love these and they block out the sun really well. So recently I have been purchasing magazines before I get to the airport. It used to, it used to be a tradition of mine to get a bottle of water and a magazine uh, before I got on the plane, but I wanted to purchase them at, uh, you know, 
somewhere that it would be cheaper this time around. So I picked up uh, the InStyle, the February edition, and Shape. And these kind of kept me occupied on the plane when I didn't really want to put much thought into what I was looking at. I also brought a book. So if I feel like just kind of gandering at something, I want to be sure that I have a magazine. But if I want to really get into something, I bring a book and I am reading Scrappy Little Nobody. Almost finished with this. Um, so I uh, did read quite a bit of it in my travels. So I like to make sure that I have options. So I have my headphones in case I want to listen to an audiobook or a podcast. I have a real book in case I want to physically read and then I have some magazines in case I just want to chill out and kind of look through something and then I also have my eye mask and my neck pillow in case I want to sleep. Let yourself do whatever yourself wants to do when you travel because it can be a very stressful experience. <laughs> I always bring wet ones and tissues. So I wipe down my tray table and the back of my seat pretty much immediately once I sit down and I have Alex do the same. I've read that it's not actually the air on airplanes that make you sick. It is all of the um, contents around you. So your tray top table, the armrest, all that stuff that doesn't really get cleaned and that everybody is touching. So I clean that area down really well and I've had, you know, really good travels lately. Knock on wood. Also some tissues because you never know when your nose might run or you might spill a little something that needs to be cleaned up with a tissue or you know you have makeup that's smearing everywhere and you just want to clean things up. Whatever it may be, just get some little tissues in your life. An extra hair tie because you never know. And then I always carry this with me. This goes in my purse on an everyday basis. This is kind of my emergency kit. I have everything in here that you could want. I have a little stain remover, I have hand lotion, hand sanitizer, a lip gloss, sunscreen, a nail file, a little perfume, more cough drops, more mints, I have a lip liner, I have more nail files, <laughs> anything that you could think of throughout your day that you're like, oh man, I really wish I had some lotion, or oh man, I really need some hand sanitizer, or I didn't know we were going to be going outside, I need to put some SPF on, if you're, if you're really, really pale. Also some Q-tips just in case there's any kind of smudginess going on or you are just feeling dirty. I don't know your life. This is a recent purchase of mine. This is a travel wallet. I got it on Amazon. I will list it down below. It came in great handy on the cruise, especially since it is an international um, travel, so you do have to carry passports with you. So it fit both of our passports. Obviously, I don't have anything in it yet. I also put both of our IDs in here. It made it super simple to just have everything in one place. Alex is completely capable of carrying his own things, but if you travel with somebody, it is, uh, at least for us, a little bit easier just to have everything contained in one space so that we're not both kind of scrounging to find something. Uh, also has a little pocket in here. Apparently I have another chapstick in here. Um, a pen because you never know when you're going to need to jot something down. Also have some cash in here. Um, any flight information I put in here. I also can stick my phone charger in here. I have a free drink ticket. Um, anything that you could possibly need money-wise, travel itinerary-wise, for checking in, for getting your rental car. This little wallet guy definitely came in handy and it has a wristlet. So I just pulled this out of my purse and that way I didn't have to, you know, scrounge through my bag to find anything. It was all right here. And that's it. That is what is in my carry-on purse. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any recommendations, you're like, oh my gosh, you must carry this with you. Let me know in the comments down below. I think I got a lot of things covered here though, so I think I'm set. But if you have any, you know, mind-blowing ideas, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!